So you want to become fluent in Japanese? You've found a great video. There's a simple but effective method to achieve your goal. To become fluent in Japanese, just imitate native Japanese speakers. I know what you're thinking, but stick with me. I'm dead serious. Imitation is the key to your fluency in Japanese. Let me show you how you imitate Japanese speakers. First, find some Japanese person that you like to imitate. YouTubers, TikTokers, quantum physicists, whoever. For me, it's Shohei Otani. I like him so much. So let's find his interview. I'll pick this one. Just watch how I imitate Shohei Otani. まあ、全てがね、あの、監督 What I did was just listen to what he says and repeat what I hear as correctly as possible. Sounds easy, right? Try it yourself. This is such a tough exercise. But if you do this in the correct manner, you'll definitely develop fluency in Japanese. Well, again, you might be thinking, well, if it was true, that'd be awesome, but I don't believe some fringe YouTuber. You might be thinking that. I get it, but don't take my word for it. There are a lot of papers about this method written and published by linguists. It's legit. It already has its own name. It's called shadowing. Shadowing is known as a pretty effective method to improve your pronunciation, listening skills, and speaking skills. And the good thing about shadowing is that there are an unlimited amount of resources available on YouTube. You can practice casual conversation if you want. You can practice formal conversation if you want. If you have some topics or vocabulary that you want to familiarize yourself with in Japanese, you can do that too. The sky's the limit. I've already made a video which is a step-by-step -step guide to how to do shadowing. Like I said, there's a correct way to do shadowing. So if you want to know more about it, please watch this video. One thing you might want to keep in mind when you do shadowing exercises is that many Japanese learners may need a transcript or Japanese subtitle to understand what they are talking about on a video, except if you are an advanced learner. Understanding what they are talking about is very important. It's not like you can do shadowing exercises effectively without knowing what they are talking about. But there's no transcript available on YouTube, and Japanese subtitle on YouTube just doesn't work that well. But don't worry, there are a lot of books in which you can do shadowing exercises, so get one of those. If you don't want to spend any money, well, there's always me, right? I've already made several shadowing resources like this with a transcript for free. So use Start shadowing today. Thank you for watching. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go. Go, go.